here is Mike from Quadricopter and we're looking at the DJI M600 Pro and FLIR Duo Pro. Okay, so yeah, uh, we've got the M600 Pro set up. Um, we've got the Grimsey T1 gimbal with the FLIR Duo Pro um, hooked up inside. And uh, we'll come in for a closer look and kind of show you how we wired everything up and uh, got it all to work as a single operator. Okay. Now we're going to take a closer look here. Mike's going to explain uh, the setup. Okay, so for installing the T1, uh, that was pretty straightforward. Um, the mount hooks right up to the rails on the M600. Um, you've got your can plug that you run up and plug into uh, the GPS on the A3. Um, from there you've got a auxiliary plug um, that you'll run up into your A3 Pro controller. Um, you'll plug into the F3, 4, and 5 slots, and that's what gives you your control to switch camera modes, um, color palettes, just gives you more camera control. Um, to get control of this through the light bridge too, to be able to do pan and tilt, um, you had to actually reach out to um, Gremsey, and they released a, an early stage firmware for this gimbal, and then that gives you control for pan and tilt. Um, through your M600 controller and then with the integration into the A3 and the expansion kit that's how you get some more of your camera controls. Um, I've got a little micro HDMI running out of the side hooked right back up into the light bridge too. You've got a GPS wire running out. You've got both of those run up through here and then you install your GPS puck up top. Um, other than that they sell you a little FLIR Duo um, auxiliary wire harness just to make it a little cleaner. It hooks right up to the gimbal, sends a signal back up, and then you get it again up top here back into your A3. Uh, as far as the weights go, this is the best we could do here. The camera was a little bit too light, so we were always kind of getting a little bit of a shake, a little bit of a jello. Uh, added a little bit of weight, squeezed this top cage down pretty good, and that um, helped us with our our uh, shakiness that we were having. Um, Alright, so taking a closer look at the controller, um, we've got our pan, and then press our C1, and we've got our tilt. Uh, moving from there, we've got our expansion kit hooked up for a little more camera control. We've got our S3 set up for display mode. So you could have your picture in picture, you could have just thermal, and you could have just HD. As far as color palettes go on the thermal, you've got your Bluetooth set up with the FLIR UAS app, and you could control your color palettes through there. Uh, moving forwards, we've got S5 hooked up for start and stop. Right now we have it set up to record video, so S5 down. You'll see you'll get a blinking red light on the FLIR. You know you're recording. When it's time to stop, pop the switch back up, and you're good to go there. Um, you get a lot more camera control through the FLIR UAS app. Um, just gives you a little more camera settings and control. You can see how much remaining space is on your SD card. Uh, wide range of color palettes, way more than the XT camera. Um, outdoor temp or ambient temp, um, record, photo, or multi-photo. Uh, from there you can see what your PWM settings are at. Um, with this setup you only have control over the first two, so we decided to have display mode and start stop. Um, but if you wanted in your menu settings you could change that there. Maybe you want to change your color palette or change the functions there. And then of course walking through you've just got uh, more camera options, uh, video options, if you want 4K or 1080, and of course just firmware and uh, everything else about the camera there. Alright guys, so again this is another uh, nice clean way of having a dual camera set up. Maybe you've already got an M600 and you just want to set up a, a thermal and an HD camera. This is a nice clean way of doing it. Uh, if you want to learn more, reach out to us anytime. Uh, give us a call or email us. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and um, we'll talk soon. Thanks.